Hello guys, what's up and welcome to yet another video. Today I am going to be making a review out of this guy's song. His name is Lil Pichi. As you can see, he is also the YouTuber responsible for this channel called Rumi Official. He makes critics on other people's songs and stuff like that. And today, I'm going to be criticizing his song because it turns out this guy never actually criticized his own song and nobody actually talks, you know, give him critique on his own stuff maybe due to the fact that he is not exactly that well known I mean just look at this you know, this is his most popular song currently on YouTube uh, and only got like 1 million views closing into 2 million now and his other stuff is the second one is just for you and this one got like 643 thousand views so uh, despite all this he is a very um, well versed when it comes to music. I mean, this guy can literally tell uh, what kind of note something is whenever he hears it. So he's very talented. He knows to play a lot of instruments. He knows how to play keyboards. He has good vocals. He has good vocals. He knows how to play guitar. Um, he knows all the effects, like tune and stuff like that. He is very, very well versed when it comes to those things. So today I am going to make a review of his music and why isn't it doing so well despite the fact that this thing is released in 2020 and it's pop which is weird because you know if you're singing pop there is absolutely no way for you to not be able to be popular this top hit of it should at least get like 60 million views or something but instead of that only got like 1 million which is way less than the amount of subscribers that you got on youtube which is currently at 7 million so let's take a listen Oh wait, I should start with the intro of the music. No worry, it's only going to be 2 minutes and 38 seconds. So. I don't really listen to pop much, but then again, there are some really good pop songs out there that I'm currently, that I, when it goes to the radio, I can instantly jam to it. For example, like Weekend, uh, Blending Light, it's pretty good. And some Justin Bieber song, um, Senorita. Na 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 Now that song is pretty good And Rihanna shine bright like a diamond I like those as well And they are very popular And Billie Eilish song which is a bad guy That's one pretty okay You know even for a boomer like me And I can really get why it's so popular So let's take a look at this guy's uh, stuff And let's take a look and explain And I'll explain to you why isn't he is popular So take a look Pretty good intro so far. I'm so fucking tired. I'm so fucking tired. That voice sucks. Um, no, the voice, I, I know what he's trying to get here, like due to the fact that he's trying to make like a down turn, but it kind of sounds too machine. I mean, he obviously put like a lot of effects on that. Kind of sound like he put effects on that. Well, I'm not exactly like very, that musically gifted, but then again, you know, uh, you really don't need to be a cook to know if uh, if, if if cooking is if a if a dish tastes like shit. So yeah. So fucking generic. That tune is so generic, my man. It's so boring. There's no hook. There's no nothing. There's no originality. This sounds like a. Um, Sounds like something which is made from a machine. I wonder if this whole thing is an AI. I wanna get this whole idea from like some kind of AI generator or something. The lyrics are pretty generic as well, like you can pretty much um, hear that from like any other pop singer. So there's nothing no no punch to it, no pop. Absolutely not impressed with the hook. No. I kind of like living for that. Living for that. That sounds like it could be his signature, but I think I've heard that from a couple of other musicians. What the hell? <clears throat> I can easily make fun. Uh, I can easily see someone making fun of the of that because he's so generic. I mean, could be good as a meme. Oh, what the hell! 
uh, the song starts with a very boring intro, and then it goes to a very generic hook, and then it just went back to another boring intro. It really reminds me of Man in the Box from Alice in Chains, except for the fact that Alice in Chains actually know how to make good songs and something that really is very, very addictive. Man in the Box is just amazing. Uh, this one is like a very crappy version of that. And oh yeah, I can also tell that this music sounds a little bit YouTube-y. I mean, it definitely isn't made from like a professional artist or someone with it. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that Lil Pitchy is quite professional. I mean, this guy has been like for 10 years now. So, yeah, ever since he was like 22. Um, he lacks soul. He lacks originality. It lacks, you know, that feeling of you... Like feeling a bit speaking to your soul. But I have to say though that if this song is being played like robots, they're probably gonna love it because you know they're like machines and stuff. Because this is really sounds like a very uh, you know AI generated. <clears throat> So dull, so boring, so generic, oh wow, there's no punch or anything, it doesn't hit me. It's so boring, it kind of sounds like I'm in a lecture. Is it a breakdown? No, it's not. I can't jump to this. Um, it's already halfway through. Uh, it's already more than halfway through, and I can't jump to this. It's so boring. Okay, this sounds like a very crappy track from a very uh, popular artist like Elton John or something. Like Elton John, we're probably going to like like this stuff. Oh no, Genshin Impact advertisement just show up. Uh, this video is not sponsored to you by Genshin Impact. Uh, please don't download this. It is a very crappy game. Don't play it. So anyway, uh, yeah. Regarding uh, that song that we just played, what's the name? What's called by Little Pichi? Oh my god, Edge! Living for that, yeah. The Living for that from Lil Pichi. I give it a 2, a solid 2 out of 10. It kind of sounds like a very crappy music done by Justin Bieber or something. It lacks originality, it lacks, um, it lacks any soul. It's just very empty. It kind of sounds like something that you expect to hear from The Sims. I mean, like... A video game music or something else to show that oh this is pop uh, oh yeah definitely not one of the more decent songs that you can hear it's one of the crappier ones now I, I guess that's kind of ex- I kind of self-explanatory due to the fact that Little Pidgey is a guy that constantly looks on what makes the song good other than putting all his soul to song making which is to be honest that's how most people in um in this america most successful artists in this america do uh, make their songs they just pull it out from their soul from their heart and determining what's good based on their own art- artistic merit rather than take a look at all the you know graphs and charts and all that so yeah it's not a very good tune and i can pretty much I understand why it is not uh, that popular and doesn't hit and uh, break any records. So I guess that's it for this uh, video. Little Pitchy, if you're watching my videos, and um, don't please, please take it as a grain of salt. Don't get pissed off or anything if I uh, talk shit about your stuff. It's just a criticism, man. Like uh, you know, you want to be the number, you know, at least land in like one of the Billboard hits. And um, I don't think that you can do this if you kept. Uh, researching on what makes the music good and try to mech- mechanize the whole process 
uh, you won't create a hit like that. You need to li literally pour your soul out to it. Uh, I guess this is a very good time for you to do, do all the study after that. And then afterwards, just hit them back with your gesture and your raw talent rather than raw talent while applying some of the things that you have learned rather than, you know, just by trying to automate the entire process. Yes. So yeah, uh, put more soul into your songs, my man. Uh, do not depend on computers that much. Computers, graph and charts and the psychology shit, stuff like that. Don't do that. Instead, just pull it straight from your soul and just make whatever music that you want to do. Have that non-caring personality, you know. And then put your songs to it. That's how people, that's how the singers, they get popular. So that's it for my video, um, stay tuned for another one because I'm going to be making a review of this. Another song made by him which is just for you, which is the second most popular song at 643,000 clicks on YouTube. Not that popular. Oh well.